for Grey, it's really nice that you are finally here. I'm super excited to be here with you. Happy Monday! As you may know, today we're gonna keep going on Unit 9 that it's called Learning New Things and we're gonna be having so much fun. We uh, need to keep going and work a lot because it's really long and it's the last unit of our book. So it means, oh my God, you're almost in fifth grade. Yes. So we're gonna start by learning the new grammar from this unit. It's really, really important that you learn these topics because um, your exam is gonna be based on this. So we're gonna uh, work on how. Uh, remember, if you can check in here, we're gonna be working in how. And this is used as a WH question. So check it out because we're gonna use how as just to ask and answer about skills and talents, okay? Remember that the vocabulary that we've been learning has been about some skills and talents that you can learn, maybe you know how to do some of them, but maybe most of them we don't know how to do them. So this is where we are gonna be learning in this unit and about the grammar. So let's check, it says, do you know how to play the drums? So this is the, tr the structure of a question that we will use to ask a person if they know how to do something. For example, if I would like to ask you if you know how to bake a cake, I will need to use this structure. Check this question. You need to start always with do, or if it's a third person like he or she, you need to start by does. But in this case, uh, in this case, our subject is you. Do you know how to play the drums? Do you know how to play the drums? So the key is in here, que se ve más, más oscurito. Know how to, sabes cómo tocar the drums, and these are the drums, okay? How to play, for example, no necesariamente tiene que ser how to play the drums, how to play the guitar, how to play, etc. How to play tennis. Maybe you can ask, do you know how to bake a cake? Do you know how to make pasta? Do you know how to cook um, spaghetti, etc. Okay? So you can answer, yes, I do, or maybe, no, I don't, okay? So if you want to ask a, a third person, does he or she, eso es lo que les decía, aquí tendría que cambiar, ya no sería do, sino sería does. Does she or does he know how to dance hip hop? Yes, she does, no, she doesn't, ¿ok? Son las dos posibles respuestas. Y también puede ser diferente. Does she know how to play baseball? Does she know how to record a video? Does she know how to create a website, etc., ¿ok? This is the structure. Remember, always start with uh, the auxiliary do or does, then the subject, in this case I use you and she, then the verb no, no, okay? Sabemos que significa no. How to, how to, vamos a poner how to, and then the verb or the action, the vocabulary. Play the drums, then hip hop, make a cake. ¿O qué más teníamos? Sing like a rock artist, uh, speak Chinese, build a robot, etc. Okay? So now, more questions. I would like to learn. For example, what would he like to learn? If I would like to ask you, what would you like to learn? I will need to follow this structure. What would he like to learn? He'd like to learn how to record videos. Okay? Checamos aquí que tiene hit, ¿ok? He as the subject and the as it would. Esta de que tenemos acá significa would, ¿ok? Aquí les puse el significado. I'd significa I would. He'd, he'd, he would. You'd, you would, ¿ok? Es lo mismo. Puedes ponerla de ambas formas, ¿ok? So then we have another example. What would you like to learn? I like to learn how to bake a cake, okay? How to bake a cake. So, how to play tennis, how to uh, take selfies, how to edit some videos, 
how to play video games, etc. Okay, so let's check how we can do these activities. Students book page 113 is just one page because I think um, this grammar might be a little bit difficult at first. Do you know how to play the piano? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Es lo que les acabo de explicar. What would you, he or she or they, like to learn? So, what would you like to learn? I like to learn how to play the piano. Aquí solo podríamos cambiar el sujeto. What would they like to learn? They like to learn how to play the piano. Activity 10 says, complete the questions and answers. Do you blank the guitar? Tenemos que seguir la estructura. Do you know how to play the guitar? Y pondríamos, yes, I do or no, I don't, but I can play the piano. Tenemos que entender muy bien lo que nos están diciendo ahí. Number two, do you blank tennis? ¿Qué verbo pondríamos? Recordemos seguir la estructura que tenemos aquí arriba. Y pondríamos, yes, I do or no, I don't. I play tennis every weekend. Activity 11 says, look at the pictures, read the questions and write answers. Number one. What would they like to learn? In the example says, they like to learn how to build a robot. The activity that they are doing in the picture, okay? We have the pictures in here. Number two, what would she like to learn? Y pondríamos, she'd like to learn how to... What is she cooking? What is she making? Number three, what would he like to learn? He'd like to learn... What? Eso es lo que vamos a seguir escribiendo, como en el example. Ok, eh, activity 12, no la vamos a hacer, pero vamos a leer lo que dice acá. What do you think of tennis? I think it's a lot of fun. What do they think of tennis? They think it's a lot of fun. What does she think of ballet? She thinks it's boring. Hmm, I don't think it is. So kids, that's it. Um, remember always to send a picture of this page. It's not a lot, but you need to think and pay attention carefully. If you want to copy this in your notebook, of course you can do it because it's going to help you and to study and do the rest of your activities. So please copy this and I'll be waiting for you to send a picture of this page. Remember that if you have questions, you can send them to me And of course, I'll be glad to help you. Have a nice and amazing day. I hope to see you tomorrow right here as always, because tomorrow we're going to be working in some other activities. That's it for today. I hope to see you. Bye.